Hello, welcome back. This is number three on my engine series. I never really intended to make it a series, but that's the way things go. This is a Stirling engine, referred to as an LTD or low temperature differential type engine. And without further ado, let's power it up. It runs on a cup of coffee. Well, actually it's hot water fresh out of the microwave. It was boiling about two minutes ago. I'm just setting it on a piece of styrofoam to help keep the heat in. And there's always a little camera work to be done. Little adjustments here and there. And while it heats up, I'll tell you a little bit about it. It's just made out of bits and pieces of stuff. Uh, a couple of old CDs for a flywheel, aluminum plate. This is 50 thousandths aluminum. Thicker would be better, but that's what I had. The displacer itself is just a piece of circular styrofoam, obviously. And the displacer cylinder is cut from an old CD-ROM case. You know, they come in those, in those things about this tall with a whole bunch in there. And let's see if she'll start. And here we go. There's no power source other than that cup of water. As long as the water's hot, it'll run. I did some little pieces of actual machine work. The crank here, that's turned down from aluminum rod had to bore it out. Uh, same thing on the other side. And let's take a look around it. The connecting rods are uh, actually they're stainless steel that's left over from an old antenna that I had to modify. Uh, a mobile antenna I've had that laying around for years. I thought, well, I'll use that one of these days. And it did. You can see the power cylinder. That's just a piece of copper water pipe. The piston inside is a piece of cast epoxy. It's just some old industrial epoxy that we use at work. I was casting, I was pouring a bunch of stuff one day and I thought, well, you know, I better, while I'm pouring, there's always extra that goes to waste. So I went ahead and cast a piston while I was at it. You can see the linkage working there. On a good boiling cup of water, I think it runs a little over 120 RPM. This water has had time to cool a little bit, but it's still running pretty good. Earlier today, I set a cup of ice water here, and it ran for over an hour, just on a cup of hot water underneath and a cup of ice water on top. So that was pretty cool. Can you hear it? It does make a clunking sound. I don't know if you can hear it over the buzzing of the fluorescent lamps or not. My pivot points are uh, basically JB weld. I made a hook in the end of a connecting rod and then filled it in with JB weld and let it cure and drilled a hole in it to fit the pin. This design is kind of a, it's kind of a mutt design. I looked at lots and lots of websites, and if you've looked at the internet at all for this type of sterling contraption, you'll find very little in the way of actual plans. But I took information from several different sites, 
and added a couple of things of my own. The one that was really mostly based on had to have tea lights under it to run it, but I put better bearings on it and only one bearing. Back here there's a, a ball bearing. This is just a big washer. I bored it out to fit the ball bearing. And I pressed the ball bearing into the washer, quarter inch ID, and uh, made a shaft to go through there. This is an angle bracket with the foot cut off obviously and wire tied to the power cylinder. And there's just one one ball bearing there and uh, as you can see it works pretty well. With it just like this running on just the hot water it'll run for 15 or 20 minutes when you start off with a good cup of hot boiling water. The website that I got the uh, biggest part of the ideas from had you using JB Weld. Let me put the camera down. Had you using JB Weld here for the bottom seal and hot glue for the top seal. Well, I didn't care much for the JB Weld idea because that takes overnight to cure. So I used uh, high temperature RTV silicone, the kind you make uh, gaskets out of. You get that at Napa or just about anywhere. And I did originally use the hot glue for the top seal and it worked okay till I took it home and when I got it home it wouldn't run. An investigation revealed that the hot glue had popped loose so there was no longer a seal up top. That has to be airtight. And the hot glue is just not good. It, it doesn't hold. I don't recommend it. So I took the hot glue off and it came off depressingly easily. And I used just plain old silicone caulking. Clear, pure silicone caulking for the top seal. And it works fine. This is just a support for the connecting rod for the displacer. It's, it's just a piece of copper water pipe as you can see. And that's just to help keep the pin aligned. It, that's, I, I suppose it helps act as a secondary seal for the rod for the displacer if you want to stretch things probably. But anyway, that's my first ever Sterling engine motor and I'm very pleased very very pleased there are several improvements I can make that I intend to implement in version 2 uh, first of all will be thicker plates which I will use an aluminum self etching primer and eventually paint them flat black for better heat absorption and or transfer different things like that I hope to get a better bearing here this bearing is really a little rough I can feel it when I turn it by hand I can feel some roughness in that bearing so I know I'm losing some power there and here for these pivots I want to get some Teflon maybe uh, maybe make a little Teflon pellet and I'll wrap the hook around it and drill a hole through that would be a little bit better of a pivot bearing or if I can find some nice smooth tiny bearings, ball bearings I, I might use that there eventually I'm going to have to invest in a lazy Susan because this is somewhat unhandy no, no pun intended but it looks like my 10 minutes are about up boy that 10 minutes sure went fast thanks for watching uh, no telling what I'll turn up with next so come back and see us thanks